Namaste. Namaste! My name is Paul. And my name is Maher. And together we are helping an orphanage in the capital of Nepal, Kathmandu. First of all, our orphanage was in the Dalu. Our first orphanage was started in there. And at that moment, you know, there were maybe 20 plus kids. And uh, we have a room in like in fifth floor. It is a big, very big room, but uh, not with a playground. We cannot go to the like uh, roof for sunlight. And we was feeling very sad at that moment. Everything was uh, fitted in the room, but it was though it was very small for us. Like every family from the house have to share a single toilet. We have to close, uh, wash the clothes also in a small toilet room. And after that, we had all a single room, and we divide the bed just. And we can while we sleep, we can hear everyone, every boy is talking in uh, beside, and every girls in the room, and kitchen also in the same room, and plus reading room also in the same room. Uh, there was like you know a very bad very bad moment and so no ones and the room was also very like um, no sunlight it passes and we have to see the road from the window and we see because we had many problems like water problem and for also uh, uh, food supplies we have to carry up to feed floor and which is not very easy we had a problem it's all about money and then we see the, there was four rooms and now we had a, uh, at least we have a good room for uh, like to stay and we had a four rooms there and one room was for uh, boys room and girls room we stayed in boys plus girls in one room and one room was kitchen room and one room was office room plus like classroom and like activities room 
and so we had at least great, uh, good places than before because at the, that place there was balcony also so where we can see the city road outside and we can play outside we can also go outside from the house and play in the road every floor complain us that there are there are many people and and they are using many water than they pay more than they pay they are using the water so and they again stop the water so we need to buy to uh, uh, different place shift uh, the children, some of the children to the Daragao and Daragao mountain. Uh, it is very at Budalnikanda. It is maybe very far from this. And, and now after that, some of the kids um, were uh, transferred to their houses, uh, as I as I know. And after that, and we took uh, Rojimaya and Sagar Tamang to our own. Uh, we uh, we took them with us because. Like uh, there are every childrens we adopt are very very poor, and like they are uh, their father mothers doesn't care. Some of the fathers mothers are dead, and like some of are like homeless. Some are some are from street also. Uh, one time we met a uh, uh, friends like uh, Mary Broels from USA. She was also very good. She also helped us in. She helped us from the beginning. And also in the second orphanage, and now she she helps us to uh, to buy a uh, land, where it is uh, like where we are staying now, and they she helped us to buy a land, and we also took a loan from the finance. But we we built a three rooms, but and we think that it is not a good sufficient enough room for the children. Is my name is uh, Ali Lama. I have a no mother, no father, no brother, no sister. When we are, I am a small child, and my father and sister, uh, uh, mother, every and dad, and I come to outside, and that, that is a uh, 35, 40, uh, 35 years ago, like a 30, 35 years ago, I'm sleeping in the outside in the street too, and then I know to how his uh, orphanage is like this. Our some friend is, uh, we have a dad time in the street, many children, and we are uh, making friendship over there. I don't have a reading and somebody helping to us. And uh, my job is uh, we work in the street tourists. I find it, we speak, making friends, and then we working in the orphanage and people coming to our orphanage. Now it's uh, two years, we don't see white faces. I don't have a job. And I'm too, uh, too not possible to, we are working also in North Sea in the white face. We have a, uh, in the Kathmandu, no, many big, in the factories, not a big sea, and we have not any process uh, without tourists. We are nothing in here, mm -hmm. and I can afford it for the that uh, money to spend for children. Uh, only my job is no enough money, no tourists. That's why in Nepalis also come to eating our place for a smaller, not like a restaurant, not so expensive things. And then there people come to eat dal bath or tea or something. And my wife also, they can make some money off there. Now it's three room and this one and one is another room and uh, like uh, some uh, children, some friend coming to stay. And one room is I'm staying. Yeah, my room is uh, uh, no bed because we still live in the floor with a small uh, like a farm and with plastic farm we still live and because our uh, has no money and we are, we don't actually we are not like uh, also handsome and like that you know is rich people they have a tie and shoe and they do like that and uh, me is some just giving to somebody and for a jacket or shoes or something we wearing that and now also you see my oil is like broken one we use with this because we are uh, no problem because we are uh, sleep in the floor also we sleep you know that's a dream same dream same sleep also rich also eating and poor also eating just full <laughs> enough that is means like um, uh, pizza not only pizza but we have to eat dal but also enough we need to just dal bath or sleeping good place is enough because no raining no cold it's okay we don't want a special because i like to help for children that way you know it's a uh, i want to when you say uh, it's a uh, children is come big oh there are people helping with us 
they are remembering and that's why i like to help for children mm. in, in my life yeah but from also two is small i don't have a big only cold shower and uh, children need sometimes very cold is problem make us sick and uh, because uh, we are future we will see some our friends friends some friend coming to connected with us and bring to solar and then making so hot shower the place is very quiet and uh, not so many pollution and uh, no cars no by bus here and uh, some children also safe because uh, not going to out not place and no accident and when is uh, go stay in the Kathmandu valley some children they are making friend friend and they want to go somewhere even tamil and they can glue and pour and making friend friend like that and that's why in this place is uh, not in the tamil they don't see any tourists and they don't see tourists and they don't give anything for uh, they have no tourists no gift that's why tamil areas many tourists they give something this and that and that's why in you know, children going oh they get money i get money and this go uh, somewhere they use drugs or something like that this place is safe two children rosie and salgar 8 and 11 uh, years old are currently living with alelama family Uh, since they changed places, they are living in the new place, in the new orphanage. But uh, they need to go to school and this school is still in town because they didn't change school since they changed uh, places. So uh, for this reason, they are living in a very small apartment in Kathmandu city. And they are living by their own with uh, Alelama daughter Nikita. So Nikita is 17 and she's going to college very early in the morning so the two orphan children are just by the, on their own all day. So they wake up by themselves and then they start cooking uh, for the lunch of the day. Before going to school they eat uh, one meal but they don't have uh, running water so they use water from a bucket. They also, they don't have uh, electricity sometimes because it's cutting off. It happens uh, quite often in Kathmandu. So it can be difficult because in the room it's uh, dark, it's very uh, small. They also, they don't have a shower and uh, to go to toilets, they need to go outside of the room. So they can cook uh, potatoes with uh, spices, with curry and sometimes they can eat eggs but it's quite expensive so not often. They also cook rice, this is like very important uh, in every meal. After cooking, uh, they eat and they like to watch cartoon while they eat. And they also dress by themselves. And when they are ready, they go to school uh, by walking. It's not very far away, maybe 10 minutes by walk.
and on the weekends they uh, go uh, home uh, in the orphanage and they use this time to uh, wash their clothes, to take a big shower, like uh, do a shampoo, everything, because uh, they can use water and uh, they don't uh, use water in the small apartment, so they really use this time to uh, wash uh, their uniforms and their clothes and everything. To help them, we decided to construct more rooms for the orphanage because, as you saw, there is no enough rooms to have a lot of children in the orphanage now. And so we discuss uh, all together with uh, the family for the construction plan and with the budget we have. And we decided to construct two rooms for the children. As you see, we are raising the wall from here due to a heavy, due to a heavy rainfall and many landslides from here. And our all bridges were damaged. You can, as you can see here, many landslides from outside. And our orphanage house was in a danger zone. From here, from there to here, we are cleaning everything. And this will be the uh, floor for the room. This will be the, uh, by the uh, right now it is not clear, but after we make this clear, everything and the back wall be here which supports this from the landslide because the room back, the room back side will help to support this. So, to avoid landslide, we decided to build a wall that will serve as a foundation to the entire building and we dug a lot. Luckily the earth was very soft and easy to dig with shovels and picks. We carried the earth in baskets it was difficult because the ground was on the slope of the mountain and because the ground was on the slope we had to bring the earth up to the top and it was much more difficult. After digging, we needed stone to make the wall. We went to several stores to negotiate to get the base price. The first store was too expensive. So we went to a second store, a little further down, but the stone was not of very good quality. So we went to a last store. It 
we got a great price so we took it We also bought new baskets because the ones we had were broken. The orphanage is not accessible from the road. The trucks has to stop high up and we had to carry all the materials to the orphanage and it was very long and so much work to just get the material to the orphanage. We also need cement for the wall. In Nepal, the cement bags are always in 50 kilo and it is very heavy. We also bought some metal to consolidate the wall.
Our war is finally finished. We took 10 days to finish it, but it is a very important base for the rest of the construction. Now we have to dig up the whole field to be able to make the two rooms that we planned. And there was like so much dirt and we took a very long time to dig all of this. We make the walls with the bricks that we had to transport from the trucks upstairs to the orphanage. <laughs> Bamboo, some wood and metal is to support the ceiling. We all hire this bamboo and steel. Tinsu, Fakai, Fakai, 